previously on Don Garampa V3 Killing Harmony. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. What? Damn it! I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Oh, Damn snap. It. No way am I gonna die here. Uh, oh, snap. No way. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So we are gonna continue with the fourth chapter of Danganronpa. And the last one. I'm not Kyo. It's a serial killer. <laughs> almost killed a hundred people which is crazy i feel like they didn't put as much emphasis on that than they should have uh other than the fact that his, he, he had incestual relationships with his sister and stuff um uh, but i don't know i guess it's fine i guess it doesn't matter and oh yes i got two love keys that I can use during chapter 4 and I'm pretty sure that um, the cutscene is going to trigger with Maki and uh, Miyu and I'm really excited about that because <laughs> I haven't seen any of the love scenes yet because I didn't get any of the keys in the first three chapters to feel like it's such a waste like I really wish I knew about it earlier but Hopefully we'll get two scenes in this one. A few days ago. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. What's happening? That's the way it is. What? Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Yeah? Now, the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is... Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. Truth is, this isn't your first what? And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. What? No matter what. I don't understand. Live and let the languid life live. The morning after the third class trial, after waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. Uh, um... Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, there's so little people in the room now. It used to be packed. <sighs> yeah, good morning. <sighs> good morning. Ah! <laughs> it's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. Oh, Angie. That's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this. Oh man. I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <gasps> That's right. At the end of chapter three, he was coughing up blood. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> we don't eat, then Gonto will eat you instead, Suichi. Huh? Huh? He'll eat me? Don't you mean like breakfast? 
You know... Speaking of Gonto, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet. Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. <laughs> oh. The atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey! You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Hey, Himiko? Okay! Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. <laughs> she's not quiet. She's been heavily sighing three times already. Hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course, I'm depressed. It's the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? But... Being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tanko and Angie too. I stay depressed. They won't be able to live rest in peace either. Okay! Oh gosh, she's so cute. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity! So, so, anyway, please take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're kind of you're going full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look for the future and live for all the other sakes. Right? Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? Game. Oh? Isn't that what we were talking about? Ugh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow! So exciting! I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> oh, I guess it's the same for everyone else. Always messing around. We're still saying crap like that at a time like this. Just then, the door to the dining hall burst open and... I got this down. big problem! Everyone, this serious. Ow. Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, maybe not that serious, but going to went to courtyard before coming here. Could it be that graffiti was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Oh, let's see what it says. The worst. Huh? No. Wait, I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords? Or maybe this world? Oh. Wait. W what about the world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Hmm. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I just realized at the top left it says Nightmare in the Locker. Nightmare in the Locker. Do you want to die? Jesus, my huh? stop it. What? Ah, uh, right. It's just a habit of hers. My heart skips a beat every time. Because? No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... So, seriously, none of us here wrote it? If this is a prank, you better speak up. But... Going to some monster writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then wouldn't they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Well, it could just be going to writing it since he was the first in the fight. Going to never do that. Going to never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does this mean? Hmm. Ugh. Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clip. Well done. Thanks for your report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta is glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta wants help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. 
No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Yeah, it's boring. Oh god, my god. what do you want? Oh ho, my ears are burning! Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me! Yay! Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually... Your face? It's always the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah! Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Ooh, right? Do. You guys can't live without getting prize right now, right? I don't want to damn prize, Monokuma. Ching! That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. Prize and show your sign! Oh, it's just her. And him. Okay, it's both of them. Prize and show your sign! What's an earth sign? Hmm. Oh my, we're getting your crush for the stuff because of that we're a mascot, you know. <laughs> because I'm a mascot. Get it. That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no pump stuff, no nothing. Hmm? By the way, who's in pink stuff pig? Why is she talking to me? Right now, what? Stop some in. Monotaro's head is busted! One solid rock should make him remember! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? <laughs> The character's completely different now! Whack him again. Pops, <laughs> my family, and you, thank you for loving me! Come on! Remember already! <laughs> They're so cute. They're so freaking cute! <laughs> I can watch it forever! No. I've had about enough of them. Give us a level two. I want my reward already. Um, when did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kikuchi? Now then. Okay, okay. The prize this time is. Ta-da! The legendary levy stone, the priceless octo brush, and a car key, which just so happens to be the motive too. Cargy, can I go in there now? Can I go into that secret room? Motive. Hey! Did you say motive? Yeah! This mysterious card key is your next motive! How nice! The classic carrot and stick bridge. No one who wore a carrot or a stick like daddy. Huh? Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. You know. Car key is a motive? What does that even mean? Hmm. So a new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yunk! I'll take that card key then. Kukichi used little body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! But, but that's Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. Huh? Why? Because? Because this is a killing game, and where the players plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around! I think we're screwing around to give it to us. No way! No thanks. See ya! That's enough! What? Hey, wait up! You're sick, Kaito. You shouldn't be running. Kokichi ran out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaito. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Yeah, yeah! Also, I forgot to mention this, but I can have another flashback light somewhere. <laughs> Looking uh, forward to it! I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! So long! Farewell! <laughs> Yeah? What's so long very well mean? <laughs> you forgot that too. Come on, let's go. So long, farewell. Wait! What, what should we do? Cookie G 
Kaizen, Kaizen, we're gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that car key motive. But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well. That's a good idea, but let us look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Suichi. Then... Right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah! Suichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually... Ah, I see. So Suichi gets that honor. Mm. Suichi's amazing. Going to want to be so to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Mm. Okay, come on, the whole time comes soon. Why are you okay with that? You should hope that it doesn't come. Okay, where to begin? I'll start to replace to use these mysterious items. Okay, let's see if this door over here actually does something anymore. one right here. Still nothing? Hmm. That's weird. What else is there? Oh. Oh, I know. I know one. It's, um, where Angie's place is. So which way do I go? I go this way. The brush strokes. The brush. The scrolls. <laughs> That's what they're called. Yeah. Uh, this one. Staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. Fifth floor, huh? How many floors does the school have? That's what I'm wondering. Whoa! Church? What the heck? What? What's this for? Oh, it's probably for her. Is there anything else in here? Whoa! What? Hi! Hey! This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? That door over there is just a plain suspicious. Could it be? It's definitely for you. Is there anybody else? Uh, what is that over there? I'll look at that later. Looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Yeah, it's for her. It's huge. God damn. Hmm. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Whoa, change of scenery. This is set for photo shoots, huh? A bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. It's pretty impressive. This looks like a bar. Is this a setup too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real, real thing. Smoky spoke cheerily and sat down at the table on the counter. Hey! Sweetie, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. Huh? Signature cocktail? Yeah. Seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> hey, I used to make them all out of my part-time job. Don't worry, it'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Then... Okay, I'll take one. Clink, clink. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? What? Juice? Huh? 
Uh, sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. What? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Give her all your monies. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job should she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this. Those thoughts swirling around my head. I drank the drink Tsumugi handed to me. Shuichi! Please go again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Oh gosh. She's a bartender. How are you hostess actually? This is another set of photo shoots. It has quite the gothic feel. Anything else? Uh... Oh. Sewing machine and a work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes? There's wigs there too. Is there anything there? I don't think so. Yeah, let's speak to her. Uh, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself. Hmm. I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah! There's no point in doing it by myself. Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? But me? Yeah. I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person. I feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Isn't that sad? interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But... I'm investigating right now. Oh, right! Let's do it later. Let me know if you love to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from anime, manga, or game. You can't! However... Even if you're just trying it out, we got a cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. I really want to up my relationship with her. After Maki and Miyu. Alright, let's go down the hall. Wait, is there anything back here? It's a big open space. Really? Nothing? Okay. But this is Kokichi's, isn't it? Wait, 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 let's check. <gasps> what is this thing? Nothing. Nothing! Oh, hi! Hi, girl! <laughs> Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Do chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This makes you feel like there's a god, but then there's this. Is that just a coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? For sure it's humor. Got a minute? So looking at the school building in the courtyard, the fifth floor didn't look this big. Did they recently expand it just for us? Heck yeah they did! This looks like the ultimate lab. All Whose right. lab is it? I should check inside to make sure. Ultimate detect. Oh, it's mine! <gasps> it's reminded me of Sherlock Holmes' huh? lab or house. What is, is is this? Is this my room? That's true. This looks like your research lab. Uh, okay. It is, right? Well, let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. Bad feeling. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? Got a minute? It looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, That's huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in Ultimate Detective's lab. She opened that cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Mm. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. But then, in that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. That's the point. <laughs> Even if we got rid of the monk, we would just replace them. So it's useless to do that. It'll only be a temporary solution. Temporary solution. 
She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way. So I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's poison for instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective lab. More like a criminal's lab. I see. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. Well, that's right. That's a fine line between criminal and detective. Hmm. What is this thing? Uh, hmm. There are a bunch of files lined up. Looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I pick one up at random and flip through it. Huh? Ah! You can take photographs and murder scenes and the tricks the culprits use. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly looked through the other files and found that they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for the murders. That appears so. Well... Does this incident really happen? No. Can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? And this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit a murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt that's... I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to anyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Got a minute? Huh. This one doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Illustrations? Maki began pulling files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. Newer files with photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? Uh, um... Why? Are the old ones just fictional? First few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Anyway, I investigate all the places that concern me. Hmm. Everything here has to do with death. Because. Well, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. And we be useful after it's already too late. Do you wanna die? Why are you upset all of a sudden? Do you wanna die? Do you kill me just for that? That's right. Nah, I understand why Makuro would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Sup, Kaito? Kaito! The face is gloomy as that. I can't believe you're my sidekick. <laughs> Again with the sidekick? Keep your chin up! You were proud of yourself, Suichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Uh, okay. The thanks. That's true. That's why I should be careful. Huh? What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me. Don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me! I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect the sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Hey, stupid. That's impossible. You. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. And if they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Makuro. By the way, why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kukichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um. Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive card key, right? Ah. Yeah, he just still have it. There's a chance that Kukichi could have use the car key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's a flashback light. Ah. Oh. Found one. Of course. I ain't worried about Kukichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? What? I'm coming too. Ah. Oh. But wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Huh? Oh yeah? Then I'll go to head to the dining hall. Well you're not gonna check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Suichi handle it. We got this. Right, Suichi? Uh, um... Y yeah, right. Huh. Now once you're done, come down to the dining hall. It's a lot of trust. Ew. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. Can I talk to you? I never complain about Kaito's attitude. I guess you're really taken into being a psychic. Looks 
this? This door certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. It doesn't look like it'll open. I suppose I have to leave it be for now. Suspicious. Very suspicious. I don't know where to put this thing. Holy crap, this place is huge. It's devil, angel. The wings even move. That's so cool. Okay, where else? From that screen the last time. There's so many that's going on. Oh, hi guys. Hey! What's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said they were supposed to be facilities for us. Fuck all y'all! It's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuff with lies and shit. Well. It's hard, to, it's hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He's an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um. Being? Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic! Switchy, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. It, no, that's not what I meant. But when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have a killing game? Hmm. Um I wanna double check the Grass. Make sure there's no Monokuma lying around. What the heck are they building this place into? This school is so big. Okay, this has to be for the ninja thing, right? Tons of people here. I'm gonna talk to them first. Hi. <laughs> it sure is quite now that no one's yapping a two with this, a two with that anymore. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. Ah. I mean, if there really was God, he'd obviously make me, the gorgeous girl genius, his chosen one. <laughs> that kooky fucking bitch. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's loony. I keep up. Oh, oh, oh my god. Hmm. We haven't come across Kukichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. I knew it. He's not in a courtyard. Is he inside somewhere? Yeah. Probably right. But apparently, Kukichi is quite good at hide and seek. Serious about hiding from us, finding him may prove to be quite troublesome. <laughs> troublesome? What is it? Why do you look so surprised? Uh, um, it's nothing. How about this? Please tell me. You don't need to hesitate. After all, we're friends. Then? Well, I just thought perhaps a robot could find a human. That's robophobic. You're not even trying to hide your robophobia anymore. What? Really? Oh, <gasps> like what? Anyway, Suichi. That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Wait, hold on. Okay, so that's the one I'm supposed to put it in. Is there any more stuff here? Looks like it. I want to talk to Gonta then. I don't want to do that yet. I didn't even know that was a thing. Hey! Hey! Show yourself! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta! Hmm. Gonta? Are you looking for Kokichi? Um. No, not Kokichi. Bugs are. Gonta see tiny bug. No mistake this time. It definitely fly by Gonta's eyes. Hey, bugs! Not again! Gonta just wanna talk! I need bugs again. What does not talking about them for a while? I'm sure he's interested, interested as the ultimate entomologist. The memory of the meet and greet is still raw. I know, I know. 
When are you gonna be used for something? Okay. Oh, she's in front of Tenko's thing. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, she's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, Suichi. Is it Suichi? Don't stare at me so much. Or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, um. uh, I see. Is she embarrassed about something she said herself? You. Did, did it look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before, no one could tell I was blushing, right? Ah, oh, that's right, I remember. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Uh, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry! Some lucky you wouldn't notice, but this is Himiko and she's mad! No, I was just blushing. What? From your own compliment? Okay. Yeah, you looked a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> okay, then I'll keep at it. She's so cute. Himiko is really trying to change. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Can I talk to you again? <gasps> I have been reborn! I won't say savings are pain anymore. Yeah, I'm tired. I just gotta make a tired face. I know how she feels, but that might be taking it too far. She's so cute. <laughs> See any more bugs, Gonta? Let me know. All right, here we go. Time, time, time for the action. What the heck? <laughs> the buildings just combined. Ah! What did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Incomprehensible. A, a flying building. What kind of technology is this? We knew this place had advanced technology, but who could have imagined this? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> dot dot dot. Uh, yeah, everybody ignore her. Let's go, what is this? The heck? I'm positive this strange building is an ultimate lab. From the machines and the sci-fi feel, I did do this as Kibo's lab. Alright! I'll check inside. Whoa. It's very high tech. It looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. Awesome. Look at all these upgrade parts. <laughs> you will look so pretty with this keeper. I want you to make lots of cute noises. Please stop! So, stop. Don't mention that in front of Suichi. Is that something to be embarrassed about, Kiva? Hmm. Whose lab is this? Huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci fi technology. Can we leave is now? Is that alright? But I imagine there are a lot of things in here that will help you real would really help you out. You should take a look. <laughs> no, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kilo? That's right. Anyway, I prefer a much more Japanese scheme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I can only stare at it. So how could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I like some kimonos in my lap and a porch with wind chimes. Uh Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Doesn't seem like Kilo's gonna use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Alright, I've finished investigating all the items at this time. Okay, there should be waiting in the dining hall. I should gather everyone there. I spoke with everyone and told them to gather in the dining hall. 
after a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. All right. Looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh. What about Gokichi? Yeah. Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Mm. Guess he must be a real pro at hide and seek. With my magic. I magically looked all over the school. He was nowhere to be found. What? But magically? Hmm. Oh, I can find him, huh? Hey. He might have used the motive card key to enter a place we're unaware of. Hmm. Do you think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Huh. Next time we see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try out this flashback light. Actually, I'm so uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? No. If you don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know. Right. But we've got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this is our only clue. Seriously? I agree with fish sticks over here. What did you say? Who are you calling a chunk bread fish? <laughs> For someone who looks like canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Go away, Kukichi. We don't want you here. Yeah. Who are you calling a wad of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Kukichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me! Thanks for the compliment. So are all my merry friends gathered here. Is that alright? First things first, what did you do with that card key? Ah. You're worried about that. Well, relax. Fortunately, I couldn't use the card key. Huh? You couldn't use it? Yeah. I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. But... You don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. Shit. I am disappointed, damn it! I wanted to use the card key. Yeah. I smell another fucking lie. Cut it out. Whatever, talking to him is a waste of time. You know We've got more important things to do. Ah <gasps> the flashback light. Let me see that. Kaido doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. Ah! Of course I do. Egged on by Kokichi, Kaito thumbed the switch hard. And once again. The world warped. Seeing as I flew by inside my consciousness, it would all means all at once I. I remembered. Oh, that's right. Meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? I remember. TV news and the internet talking nonstop about those meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. Our researcher said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There were also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. I'm going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, the world will end. Uh, those, those people were always hanging out with flyers in the street corners. I saw flyers all over the city, too. They said, Mankind deserves damnation. Mankind deserves damnation. I remember seeing those posters, but... Hold on! And the meteorites. What ended up happening with the meteorites? That's... I haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down. What? Then what happened to the plant? The one to save the world from the meteorites? Could it be? All right, I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was a plan that all the countries of the world came up to save, came up with to save humanity. But I remember that too. But the Gopher Project didn't it fail? What? Is that true? That's true. That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So we can't remember anything past that again. Uh, okay. Can't either. I don't remember anything about the Gopher. <laughs> 
Mankind deserves damnation. Huh? You? <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Fuck that. The fuck's going on? We're already damned here. Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is. You. That you losers part wasn't necessary. Ah! So shut up. I'm tired of this. Let us out of here. Let us out. Come on, don't leave us in here. Pull us out. Seems like... She seems really upset. What happened? You, calm down. It's okay. Gonto will protect you. In the end, the flashback light didn't help. Didn't connect to the other memories. The ultimate hunt that was after us. A joint funeral. Meteorites, the cult organization, the Gopher Project. How are they all connected? How do they relate to the Ultimate Academy? What happened with all those meteorites? Did they just stop? Shuichi. It'll be okay, Suichi. Just a little more. Huh? See? We'll probably need one more. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing? What is Kokichi? What? I don't think I'd be surprised with the outcome of this situation. Like, if we were actually all dead. And this was the afterlife. Huh? The afterlife? Always messing around. <sighs> Quit saying stupid crap like that. Uh, not stupid. If meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too. Because? Ma, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. Well, you know. That's why, if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread, or some weird technology, <laughs> or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. That's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. Um, that's just your theme, Nico. Seriously? Come on! That's stupid. It's like the setting for some third rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm making this up? But then, how would you explain the flashback lights, Exosols, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know. <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up! First off, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. You're sorry, sorry, my bad. What did I do? Just hurry up so I can get out of here. Wait. So stop. You shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. <sighs> Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> We finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory. Bank. I'm learning every day. Hey! Oh, before we go, Gonta put men who cover back how it was. Cause Gonta, gentlemen. If we want to challenge underground again, this time Gonta definitely. You're so dumb. No one's dumb enough to challenge that dump again. Shut up! Don't look down, hard work. Yeah. Here we go. You've really changed. Mm. Is what I like to say. Working hard at escaping from there is useless. Like I thought. <sighs> well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you think that. Can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. I need to solve all these mysteries. After a conversation, we return to our rooms. It's no use. Damn it, I don't understand what's going on here. But I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede. I need to find the truth. What's happening to us? Why are we forced to play this killing game? Anyway, I still got time today. I can't stay still. Not now. Free time.